Hey everyone, this is Angela with AustinReviews.com and I'm here for another edition of Blue Monday. First up this week, for Tuesday, March 1st, we have Disney's Diamond Edition of Bambi being re-released. Taking him out of the vault and putting it on Blu-ray. Uh, this film was first released in 1942 and it's been digitally restored frame by frame for Blu-ray and it looks fantastic. It looks as if they took out every single picture and just repainted it. Uh, because uh, the characters that are in focus that you're following are nice and crisp and pop off screen, whereas the the motion in the background is not blurry at all. It's very subtle and, and warm colors, so it looks very, very good on Blu-ray. Um, and there's also a ton of special features involved, which I didn't really expect for Bambi, being that it came out in the 40s. But there's um, these sort of commentary, I guess you could say, of recordings of meetings with Dis Walt Disney and the writers who actually created Bambi, like pre-production recordings of them sitting around a table and talking about what works and what doesn't work and how they want to introduce Thumper into the story and, and who how often do they want to follow Bambi whereas you know they could also break off and follow the squirrel and the chipmunk for a little bit and what works you know what's pulling away from the story and it really is it's very informative to find out how the story could have turned out or how you know they got to a certain look of a character because listening through it you wouldn't have expected to, to hear a commentary from Walt Disney but this is kind of the first here and it, it's really worth it right there um, there's also some deleted scenes which there's just two but it's obvious why they were deleted it's actually kind of laughable it um, I guess it, it it makes Walt Disney and his crew seem more human. The fact that they would come up with things that are so silly, like two two leaves falling off a tree before you know winter starts, and they kind of animate them like they're an old married couple about to die, and you're just going, "This is so ridiculous." But I mean, that's that's why they deleted it. They obviously remembered that. There's also a deleted song, which is really funny. But um, other than that, there's a really cool feature called Second Screen, where you can go to their website on your computer or iPad or something and put in Bambi, you know, that you're going to watch Bambi and you sync it with your TV and it, as long as you have it loud enough they can hear where you're at in the film and it will actually show you uh, drawings, uh, what what's changed from the original format to this Blu-ray format, it'll give you little games to play throughout. It's really interesting and I think it's a really cool way to, to be more interactive with Blu-ray. So, uh, Obviously, if you're a big fan of Disney, you collect all the things before they throw them back in the vault. I think you're definitely going to be one of those people who runs out and buys it. But for all those other people out there who, you know, they grew up watching Disney's Bambi, maybe they want to know if they're if they should get it for their kids. I definitely think this is one that you should add to to your vault, to your collection because it's it's so immersive and I think it'll keep your kids busy, busy and it's also an important, you know, piece of history. So, everyone go out and buy Bambi. And second up this week, we have on Blu-ray, Burlesque. This came out in theaters earlier last year, and I will admit that with the trailers, I kind of wanted to see it because I'm an avid musical fan. They're my guilty pleasure. But this one kind of just stomped all over that. Um, the film is filmed beautifully. It looks good and it sounds good because it's, you know, it's musical. You have to be able to hear it, and it, it sounds really great in the surround sound, and the visuals are very bright and sparkly. They use a lot of... Uh, Swarovski's crystals on all the costumes and it really should like the lighting is really fantastic in it. The story however that's a different story. Um, it's about a small town girl from Iowa, Christina Aguilera's character, who ditches the town, goes to LA, tries to make it big on the stage and she ends up just getting a job at a burlesque bar to, as a waitress and it's about midway through the movie when she finally gets to audition at this burlesque place to become a dancer and it's probably another 15-20 minutes after that before everyone there discovers oh what you can sing so the entire first half of the movie in my opinion was very agonizing trying to sit through Christina Aguilera is not an Academy Award winning actress by any means. Cher was probably the best part of the movie as far as acting. I love her and everything she's done and she has a fantastic charisma about her so that saved the movie. And then the second half when she begins to start singing and they change the story around so that she can sing on stage all the time, then it's very entertaining and it's like um, a music video I guess watching Christina Aguilera. And the songs, the songs are good but some of them are great. And the ones that were my favorite, I figured out while, while watching the special features, that they were all written by Christina Aguilera and her crew of people. 
Um, and you can tell, there's one in particular where I was like, this one's definitely written by her, because it sounds like they just pulled it off her latest album and threw in the word burlesque on the chorus. So, but it's still a good song. I liked it. As far as the special features go, there's not a whole lot. There's a commentary which can take up some time, but other than that, there's not really a lot. There's a blooper reel, which wasn't funny. It was just, in my opinion, it showed how bad Christina was, because it was mainly her messing up her lines. And if you paid attention, some of those scenes that they were, that she kept messing up on, they're not even in the film. So she must have messed up so bad, they just dropped the scene. Um, there's a featurette with all the girls, Cher, Christina Aguilera, and Kristen Bell. Uh, talking about their character and how they prepared for the role and what they liked about the movie, you know. I liked the Kristen Bell part because she's such a sweet girl and she played the villain in this movie and I don't particularly like her as a villain. But she did talk about how well, I tried to do it a little bit lighter, I didn't want people to completely hate me. So that was kind of fun. Um, the best special feature though is there's a special feature for the songs that's set up like a jukebox where you can select each of the songs that are performed in the movie or you can hit play all and it will take you to those scenes in the film so you can watch the song performed in its entirety. And maybe I suggest we just watch that feature and just skip the movie altogether because the rest of it's just not even worth seeing. I mean it's an everyday story like anyone else. It was obvious that they just didn't spend that much time developing the story and the characters, whereas they put all their time and effort into the production and the set designs, which were glamorous and fabulous to look at. But, I mean, some of the stuff, the choices that they made for... One example is midway into the beginning parts of the movie, you see her walking down the streets trying to find a job, and all of a sudden you hear the beginning of Manson's The Beautiful People song, and then they just, like, loop it in with some girly sounds, and you're like, what? Is going on and it's not until the end credits that you get to hear that full song they took the beautiful people and they transformed it to be sung by you know happy people and the the the, mo the motive and the the song changed entirely it was still his heavy beats but it was just an odd song choice so overall I guess it was fun to watch because it was kind of a disaster but um, I would maybe just give it a rent just go out and rent it once watch the songs have fun after that. It's a popcorn flick at, at the best. So that's it for this week on Blue Monday. Tune in next week to see what else we have for you. Thanks. Bye.